Noah. Yet again, just another really interesting character from the original seasons. Yeah, Noah started off just a just as an okay-ish um, character in Island. He was literally the third one eliminated. But he did come back in World Tour and made it about halfways. And, of course, he ended up coming back in the redonkulous race with his friend Owen, which is probably the most silliest team out of them all. I just like how much character development this dude has went through. From being a pretty just okay character in the original season to a really interesting character in World Tour to having a freaking relationship in, all, in um, Redonkulous Race. I like his relationship with Emma. It's a really good, it's a really cute couple. And it's a lot better than other couples this season. Carrie and Devin. Well, not that it's better, but I mean, it's done better. The only thing I don't like is how Katie kept trying to convince Emma to get away from Noah. But other than that, I like Noah and Emma's relationship, and it was nice seeing him find love. Now, yeah, is Noah my favorite character of all time? No. But at least I find him a really interesting character, and I just, I like him a lot. My favorite with him is probably the Redonkulous Race, just because of how much character development he went through. Overall, Noah's a really cool dude. So now let's move on to number 12, which would go to... Oh yeah, by number 12, I mean number 11. That would go to... Tyler. Wow, what an amazing original character. I like how Tyler sort of tries to show off, but at the same time, not in an annoying way like Justin. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm glad that he's like, he's a likable character and also being a little dimwit as well. And of course, I like his relationship with Lindsay too. It's just so funny. Two dimwit people liking each other. I don't know. I like it. It's funny. Although he didn't make it really that far in Island, he made it a lot further in World Tour, which is nice. So yeah, nothing else I really have to say about Tyler. Just another good original character. Now we're in the top 10 with number 10 going to... Izzy. Izzy always reminds me of Sierra, but just a lot better. She's a little more likable, at least in my opinion. So Izzy was in all three seasons, and, the, and in two of them she ended up coming back. Island, she ended up making it pretty far, and action, she got eliminated pretty early, and same with World Tour. But, I mean, Izzy's a pretty interesting character. I like how she's crazy and also stupid and dimwit, but yet again, at times, can be smart. And of course, you gotta like the relationship with her and Owen. It's just so random, yet funny. And I like how she has to change her name in a lot of episodes, too, whether if it's Brainzilla, E-Scope, you name it. And I like every time she has her rivalry with Chef. It's just so funny and random to see. So yeah, Izzy is definitely one of my favorite original characters. And with that, let's move on to number... 9, which is... Joe. I know, I can't believe I'm putting a Revenge of the Island character this far up either, but Joe is actually one of the most interesting characters of them all. She's supposed to be one of the more villains, but not like annoying like Scott is, and actually really interesting. I like the way that she gets Lightning and Cameron to do stuff for her, and the way that she has nicknames for everyone. That is just so funny, and she does everything with a straight face. Her rivalry with Heather in the season. It's just so funny. And you gotta admit, her and Brick together would be just a good couple. They're just so funny together. And Joe returned in All-Stars, but she did get eliminated, like, third place. She was the third eliminated, which is crazy. But whatever. I'm glad at least we got to see her a little bit more. So yeah, Joe is a really good character, and I don't mind her. Now let's move on to number eight, which would be... Gwen. I don't know where you even want me to begin with her. Yes, yeah, Gwen has definitely gone downhill a lot as the series went on. From breaking up with Trent, to breaking up with Duncan, to even not being friends with Courtney anymore. I don't think anyone from the original cast likes Gwen anymore. After All-Stars, she only has, like, two friends, those being Zoe and, um, Cameron. It was nice seeing Gwen make it to the final two in the season I think she was the best in, which was Island, and then getting eliminated, like, the th third slash fourth one eliminated in action, and then making it about midway through, um, World Tour. And then she made it pretty far in All-Stars, too. So, yeah, I think Gwen definitely fell downhill as the seasons went on, but at least she remains a pretty interesting character. And at least she's nice, too. 
Anyway, now let's move on to number eight, I believe. Or seven. I forget. Anyway, let's go on to that number, and that would be... Duncan. He was an interesting character in Island, and I liked his relationship with Courtney. Action, he started off kind of annoying, not gonna lie. And it was annoying seeing him try to, I guess, steal Gwen from Trent, even though he sort of wasn't, but at the same time sort of was. And I'm glad they shifted away from that when both Gwen and Trent were eliminated into more of Duncan versus he um, Harold stuff. And then, of course, Courtney came back, and that was a lot better, too. World Tour, Duncan was pretty interesting, because he got... He literally quit, and then came back, and then got eliminated. And then in All-Stars, he just... He was actually eliminated pretty early. Duncan's just a really interesting character. And I'm glad that he ended up making it to the final three in one of those seasons, being season two. And in some cases, like the first time I watched it, he ended up winning. Duncan's just one of those characters you love to hate. Sort of. I, I don't know. <laughs> I like Duncan, though. So, yeah. Now let's move on to... Six, I think we're on? I don't even know. And that would be... Zoe. Definitely my favorite Revenge of the Island character, and probably my favorite modern character, too. Not including Redonkulous Race. Basically, she's like Skye, but way, way better. First off, she's super nice to literally everyone. It, until, like, the last few episodes where she turns savage mode, which actually is really nice to see her standing up for herself. And that she's helping Cameron out and stuff, and that Mike ain't there anymore, so she has to be the one, which is really nice to see. And, of course, her relationship with Mike, ugh. And she ended up returning in All-Stars because she was eliminated in third place in, uh, Revenge of the Island. This time around, though, instead of Mike keeping the personality thing from Zoe, now he was keeping the Mal thing from Zoe, which Zoe kind of figured out with the help of other people and just figuring out. Plus, I'm glad that she was helping Gwen through the whole tight spaces thing and ended up making it to the final two this time and in some cases ended up winning, like the second time I watched All-Stars. Zoe is just such an interesting and nice character through in and throughout, and I'm glad that she's willing to help literally anybody. And like I said, she's definitely my favorite out of the modern cast, besides Redonkulous Race. Alright, with that, now let's move on to number 5, I think, which would be... Lashana. Man, talk about, talk about an original character. Lashana is just so interesting. They do a good job with her in Island, making her an interesting character, and she ended up making it to the final 5, and just getting eliminated stupidly, because, yeah, we don't talk about that. She came back in action and got eliminated more midway through. And honestly, she was definitely the most weakest in action just because she went through, like, many multiple personality disorder. Kind of like Mike, but just, eh. So she kind of fell downhill in that season, but I'm glad that she went... They found a, um, they found the true Lashana back in World Tour, even if she was one of the first ones eliminated. But man, talk about a good character. Lashana is just a good character, and I'm glad she stood up for everyone in Island when it was everyone versus Heather. Yeah, nothing else I really have to say. Just a good character. Now let's move on to number four, which would be Junior. Or Dwayne Junior, whatever you want to say. Up to the Redonkulous race, all we've had was teenagers on the show. So seeing the Redonkulous race go to the old having old people and parents on the show plus like um a little kid is just so fun to watch and man junior was actually really interesting i like how they made him seem like the normal kid between him being embarrassed from his dad and then him trying to act all manly and tough uh it's just so perfect i also find it funny that he falls in love with carrie in the one episode and two even it's just so funny, and, ugh, need I say more? And I like his relationship with his dad, too. Like, they do a good job having both of them just... I don't know, I just, I like them as a team, and it's too bad they got eliminated, like, midway through, but, hey, I'm glad we got to see Junior. I swear, next season needs to be total drama, kids versus adults, and Dwayne and Junior need to be in that season. Not much else I have to say, so let's move on to number three, which is MacArthur. Okay, now she's my favorite out of the modern cast. Man, 
if you could fit every personality and every like emotion into one, then you got MacArthur. Literally, one day she'll be really mad, the next day she'll be really sweet and happy. Next day, one day she'll be fighting with Sanders, and next day she'll be hugging her. One hand she'll be really funny, the next day she'll be serious. One day she'll be really smart, the next day she'll be really stupid. And I like that they did that with her, because she ended up turning out to be a really interesting character. And super likable as well. Heck, she was so likable that she returned in the series Total Drama Rama in some cases, which is hilarious just to think about. But yeah, I liked her as a character, and I liked just all the personalities she would grow through, especially the stupid ones, just because that just made her so much funnier. MacArthur is definitely one of my favorite characters. Not quite one of my favorite, not quite my favorite though. So let's go to number two, which would be Heather. Yeah, I know, I can't believe I'm putting her this far up too. When I first watched Total Drama Island, I hated Heather. I hated how much, how lucky she got and how she tormented the teams, reading the diary and trying to help make Gwen break up with Trent thing. That just rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm glad she got eliminated, even if it was third place, and that she got what she deserved, her head shaved. Action, she was actually pretty interesting, and man, don't even get me started on World Tour. Heather went through such a good, like, character development from Island to World Tour, it's not even funny. I like how instead of her mainly focusing on the money, she's now more focusing on Alejandro, which is just, just so funny. And heck, the first time I was wa I watched um, it, I was actually rooting for Heather to win over Alejandro, just because at first I was like, oh great, Heather and Alejandro are going to make it to the final three, but or final two, but no, I was actually happy that Heather ended up winning. Just because she became such a likable character in this season. And of course, she was super likable in All-Stars too. And then rewatching all the seasons again just made me realize she's just another one of those fun, iconic, original characters. And I didn't hate her as much when I watched Island again, and I actually liked her. It was fun seeing her and all of them, which means they would made such a good, just original villain. Anytime she gets hurt, the rivalry between her and Lashana, it goes on and on, and it's just so funny. And she's definitely one of my favorite Total Drama characters, but not quite my favorite. I think my favorite would have to go to... Lindsay. I mean, who else would it be? They just did such a good job with Lindsay. She reminds me a lot of Starfire from Teen Titans Go. I just like how she's like dumb, but also not afraid to stand up for herself. Like the one episode in season one, where she told off Heather. And I like that she got a lot more character development in action, where she ended up acting more like the, a boss rather than being bossed. But of course, still being her dimwit self. And World Tour she returned, but she ended up getting eliminated fairly early in. But it was still fun seeing her. And heck, she even returned in All Stars, but she was the first one eliminated. But heck, I'll take any season with Lindsay in it. I just like how much character development she went through from Island to Action. And both those both seasons are the ones she ended up making it the furthest in. She should have made it to the final three in Action. I'm so mad she didn't. And whew. That was a long, long list to get through. 84 people. And there's another total drama on the way. With that, I hope you enjoyed all of these videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.